In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at saving presets. This is a feature that's been added to iConfig, so if you haven't updated iConfig, you might want to do that first. When you make changes to the audio info, or to the patch bay, or the mixer, you can save those changes as a preset. Here, I'm just going to make some changes to the patch bay, and then I'm going to save the result to a preset. You have a choice of the items that you wish to save in the preset, and you can also name the preset and give it a description, as I'm doing here. You can click on Check All to save everything in the preset, or as in this case, uh, the MIDI information separately and or the audio information, and you can then even sub-select from a given category. In this case, I'm going to select all of the audio information and then click on OK to save that as a preset. Once a preset has been saved, you can recall it at any time by going to the File menu and then Open Presets. When you do so, you get a choice of the presets from the front page of iConfig. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series for more on configuring iConfig with the iConnect Audio 4 Plus. Mm -hmm.